Let's see what happens theoretically to the fundamental theorem of calculus part one when we throw chain rule into the mix. So consider y is equal to the antiderivative of a to some function u of x. We have seen this before as stuff. And this is of some function f of t dt. Then if we wanted to find the derivative of y, we would have to find the derivative with respect to x of the integral from a to some function of x, aka stuff, of f of t dt. Now using FTOC part two, we can rewrite this as the derivative with respect to x of the antiderivative of little f of the function u of x, our stuff, because we're plugging this, this is our b, we're plugging it into big F minus big F of a. Well at this point, we notice that we're going to have to use some chain rule because we have big F of stuff, some function of x. And when we take the derivative of big F of stuff, we take the derivative of our outside function f, which is little f, we plug in the stuff, we keep it in there, and then we multiply by the derivative of the stuff. So that's u prime of x. And of course the derivative of some constant, since a is a constant, plugging any constant into a function is still a constant. So the derivative of a constant is just zero, so that goes away. And so when we use some function of x, some stuff in my upper limit, then we have to use chain rule. And what we do is we plug u of x into our function and then multiply by the derivative of u. We're going to let y equal the integral from negative 1 to x squared of cosine of t dt. Let's find the derivative of y, or in other terms, y prime. Well, that requires us that the derivative of the integral from negative 1 to x squared of cosine t dt. Our constant is in the lower limit. That's good. However, our variable isn't just x. Now it's x squared, which means we have to do one more thing on top of everything else. Not only do we plug in this entire thing into cosine of t, but also we multiply by the derivative of x squared. You have to use chain rule here. So here's what you do. You first you plug it in. Cosine of x squared. And then you multiply by the derivative of your stuff, the stuff up here, which the derivative of x squared is 2x. So the answer is 2x cosine of x squared. Let's try one more. What if you took y equals the integral from 5 to cosine of x of secant squared t dt. Well, y prime, you would plug cosine x into t, so we have secant squared of cosine x times the derivative of cosine x, which is negative sine x. And so the answer is negative sine x times secant squared of cosine of x. And that is using FTOC part 1 with chain rule.